Okay, we're going to move on to this. Uh, here's a question. At what point does a child's hobby go too far? A parent mm. wrote into Slate's advice column saying that their 13-year-old's YouTube channel has become a total obsession. And what started out as a fun pastime is now taking over her life. So what would you do in this situation if you were the parent? Oh, uh, go for it. If I, if I was the parent of somebody whose life was being totally taken over by a um, social media audience, I would really encourage them to um, get face to face and have some real friends, like the ones that are going to be with you 20 and 30 years later, because I think that so many social uh, di so many digital relationships are very shallow. So, you know, you go shallow and wide, with, especially with a, a huge following like that. How deep are her connections? How deep are her relationships? And I think we can all agree, you know, there's nothing better than a good girlfriend or two or five or something. Um, so I would definitely encourage her to, you know, get face to face and, and yeah. you know, build advice. those personal That's relationships that are going to carry her through mm -hmm. her lifetime. Love that. Aisha, what about you? Well, I mean, I think there's anything that stops you from connecting with your family and friends or trying new things like this, these parents were saying about their, their kid. I think anything <clears throat> that gets to that point moves from hobby to obsession. So even if it's mm. something that's really healthy, mm. right? Like you're cooking healthy meals, but now you're doing that all day long and you're not going outside or you're not connecting yes, with your friends, right. whatever it is. That obsession yeah. is, you know, we're trying to move away from that. And in this case, I'm like so many young people it's such a crazy time to grow up and be young because there's so much stuff going on with social media but like it's all through this internet connection and i remember yes. reading once about these parents who every day they changed the internet uh the wi-fi password so their kids had to connect with them in order to be able to connect <laughs> online and i was like oh right oh my god that's brilliant, brilliant. Yes. <laughs> yeah like, that's so beautiful <laughs> take a note have a connection in order to get those, you know, because it's, it's a part of what kids are growing up with right now. We can't take away the internet. We can't take away social media or YouTube or right. whatever. But, you know, that give and take and making it an actual connection like you're talking about, Penny, in order to have these other external, and you know, digital connections. Right. And I think that so many people value their self-worth based on social likes. And, um, sure. you know, it gives them that endorphin uh um, pop when somebody likes their stuff or comments. And, um, that is really addictive and it's getting a lot of, of, um, people into trouble, you know, into trouble where mm -hmm. they're, they're, you know, they're looking for that next shot, that next, uh, dose of happiness. And, you know, how deep are those relationships really? And, mm -hmm. and what kind of skills are we, um, uh, allowing our young people to develop when everything is done, you know, on this. It's just also so superficial. Like uh, this is the part that would really, you know, if as a parent, I would want to just scoop up my child and take them off to some place where there was no yeah. Wi-Fi, and yeah. you know, yeah. just kind of like I know, like detach them from that <clears throat> loop mm -hmm. of habit and that loop, that addictive spiral that you were talking about, where you get the likes. Because I yeah. think I would also want to encourage, like, what are where where can we start to uncover, you know, value systems and what what living means beyond this kind of like I, I don't know. The, the world of social media as a job, especially at that age, seems just so ridiculously, um, uh, you know, uh, like it has no depth. I mean, just do you know what I mean? I totally know what I mean. And you're actually reminding me of something you said yesterday when you and I were talking about this story. The idea of it being a job, like the parents could almost frame it as being like, if they were able to, mm -hmm. we're taking a month off and we're going to the desert or we're going camping and you're not going to have internet. This is your vacation from work, which would almost mm -hmm. force her in a sense to unplug, <laughs> but then do all of the other beautiful things that Penny and Aisha are saying. Hey, can I just say that was some really good advice? Cause I was like, in my notes, I was like, I have no idea what I would do. And then you three come out here with like these amazing ideas. This is a good <laughs> panel. But guys, we have to take a little break. <laughs>